This is the video for the PyTorch Summer Hackathon submission of the project entitled Private Machine Learning as a Service using PySwift. The goal of our project is to extend PyTorch with the ability to allow multiple individuals, researchers, or organizations to share our models with each other while mitigating misuse, preserving the privacy of individuals, and protecting the intellectual property of the models involved. In this demo, we'll focus on three different use cases. The first one is public serving. It consists of allowing individuals to download a model and run it locally. This approach protects individuals' private data and facilitates research reproducibility. The second use case is private serving, which means that users only have access to the model's predictions, but not the model itself. This way, organizations providing machine learning as a service can keep their intellectual property private, while external parties can still benefit from the model's predictions. The last use case is encrypted serving. The idea is that at the same time we protect sensitive models and preserve data privacy. In other words, users don't have access to the model's weights, and model owners don't have access to users' data. Let's take a look at the demo. In this project, we use PySift and Grid. These are libraries that extend PyTorch by adding the ability to handle remote and encrypted tensors. First, I'll show how to serve a public model. We use a pre-trained version of the GPT-2 model, Less important dependencies, then the first thing we do is connecting to the remote client, which is able to store tensors and models. Then we can define our model using regular torch, and the only special thing we do is trace the model. With this operation, we are able to serialize the model and send it over the wire. Now we can ask the client to serve the model for us. We give it the model, we give it a model ID, which is used for querying the model later on, and we also tell the client that users should be able to download this model so they can run it locally. Now, if an external user wants to get a copy of this model so they can run it locally, all they need to do is connect with the client and call download model. Users also need to make sure they're using the correct model ID, the same used for serving. So now let's see how we can change this example to instead of serving a public model, we serve a private one instead. So the only change we need Instead of allowing users to download the model, we just allow users to run inference on the model. And that's it. Users will see an error if they try to execute operations they're not allowed. But how about encrypted models? Well, here we show a use case of a skin cancer detection model. It's a CNN for classifying images with two different types of skin diseases, benign keratosis and melanoma. Here's a code for training the model, but we're not going to go into details of what's going on there. But let's say that you just finished training your model and now you want to serve this model in an encrypted fashion. Well, the first thing we do differently is that we actually connect to a couple of clients and not just one. This is because we use a protocol called Secure Multiparty Computation that consists of sharing data ownership in order to encrypt the data. So now we instantiate the model but notice that we don't use the torch and end module. We actually use a PySafe abstraction that will be able to provide us SMPC encryption. After we have the model, we can just encrypt it and serve it. In order to query an encrypted model, the first thing we do is we encrypt our data, since it needs to be encrypted. Then we download the model the same way we did with a public model. We actually don't get a, uh, the model itself, but an encrypted version of the model. Then you can just run the encrypted data in the encrypted model and then request a decryption. And that's it. Then you get a result. But none of the parties actually have access to the model's weights or the user's data. To finish the demo, we introduce a concept called grid network. The idea is that a cluster of fully connected clients represent a grid network, and that users don't need to know exactly what workers compose the network, they can just talk to a gateway that knows the entire network. This means that a user can host a model on the network without even contacting any client, which is a very powerful concept. We can also use this idea to provide fault tolerance in the network. Also notice that the grid network and the clients that are part of the network are not hosted on my local machine. They are actually hosted on Heroku. And that's something we support on Grid. We believe that for machine learning as a service to be widely adopted, trust mechanisms are needed. 
while the owner should be able to deploy their models with the guarantee that they can control how their models are used, while external users might have data that is considered too sensitive to be sent directly to the cloud, so encryption must be available to perform computation securely without compromising the data or the model.